What's going on, my compulsive Call of Duty players? My name is Zavo, and today we are going to be giving you the second ever Let's Play game review type thing on the channel, because the first one did actually pretty well, um, considering it was completely random. It was just me testing out Darwin Project, um, a game that was actually not new at all. It was released 2018, 17th of January, I believe, so wasn't actually that new at all let's just say it was a pretty old one however um today um as i'm speaking right now obviously guys i will have like some trailers or gameplay put over the top just like to give you a bit of a taste of what i'm going to be trying out today um because i got basically inspired to play this because of the gameplay looking so good on the trailer and all that so this game's rather new, actually, compared to Darwin Project. This is actually released 8th of August 2019, so almost a year ago from now, um, but not quite because it was, it's, you know, it's obviously May time right now. But yeah, it came out last year, um, August 8th, and honestly. It looks pretty good. I don't know if it is or not. Obviously, there'll be people a lot better than me who have played it from the start. People who've played it at least for more time than me. And I'm likely to gonna get spammed on. But still, you, you got to give games a chance. you got to try them out. People do put them on the free games. Uh, people Creators make free games um, for people to get a taste of what kind of games they're able to make. Um, and I feel like a lot of people throw down those opportunities. You say They say like, oh, it'll be bad, it's free, it'll be some shit tacky game. And that's what a lot of people say or assume. Um, uh, but uh, of course, I do on my channel now um, like a let's play where I'll try out a bunch of new games that are made that are free or recently made or however old they are um, on the top three games section of Xbox. If I think they look good, I'll try them out. I won't be trying out every single one of them. I'll just try out the ones I think that look good. And this one does look very, uh, very appetizing for my gaming needs. But obviously, I'm going to give a bit of context. So this game apparently is based around a post-war time uh during uh, well in norway and the whole point of it is that you're supposed to survive you're meant to build your survival um like for your house go out and scavenge and look for loot um practice your aiming with your guns on like dummies you can get better at shooting you can get better at aiming you can um you can actually go and get loot boxes which like land in at certain places out out in the outland outland areas and basically you will have to fight for this because a lot of people will end up having gunfights at these places it's basically one of those spooky little kind of games where it's not like darwin project where you just know you're going to meet up with people in the map somewhere um this is more of a thing where you're kind of just going out crafting doing your own thing but you have to be alerted because at times you know, you could turn around and see someone running across the streets going into a house that you didn't know was there. So it's one of those kind of freaky type uh, games where you, you have to survive and live to see who can live the longest. It's, it's a pretty good looking game. So, um, yeah, we're going to get into the actual game now. So I'll see you when we have actually installed the game fully. Um, it is about 9.51 gigabytes if you're interested in installing it so it's not too big but at the same time if you haven't got a roughly 10 gigabytes spare then uh, yeah then that's kind of a problem but um yeah we're just gonna hop in so guys um it is now installed so uh yeah <laughs> um basically it says welcome outlander onimus ooks press a to start well uh this is my first time, so yeah, let's do it. Ah, right, change language of all text in the game. Hmm. Well. Oh, that's. Yeah, keep on 50, the brightness, save frame. I think it was already fine at zero. Yeah, it was. Um, subtitles. I don't know. I mean, if it's suggesting us to, then. Sure, fuck it. <laughs> Alright, Unreal Engine. Oh, were these the same people that made uh, Rocket League Unreal Engine? No, no, actually no. Unreal Engine made Terraria, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Um, yeah, so, welcome to Vigo. Do you want to play the tutorial? You can always start later from game options. Um, I don't know. The tutorial will probably drag it on too long, but we'll have to play it because I have no idea what I'm doing, so, yeah. 
Okay, so it's now loading. This should be interesting. Hopefully this doesn't drag the video out too long. Um, wasn't the last... I think the first video was... The first Let's Play I did was 15 minutes long or 20. Oh. Okay. Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> right. Oh, so he's selecting a character. Hmm. I quite like it. He look. He looks pretty cool. Um, him or or him. I mean, or uh, I don't know about him. <laughs> um, I don't know. Fuck it. We're doing him. So, do you want to become this outline? Though you can change it later in the game. Sure. Here we go. Oh, this is so good. I'm not surprised the quality is this good so far because it is built for um, Xbox, Xbox One X um, enhanced. Oh, so it's kind of giving you the same sort of uh, um, tutorial trailer that you'd have um, as, um, let's say, Dishonored 2 when I played that. Um, because you have to do these little crouching and prones and jumping and stuff to get past all the obstacles. I like this third person. Look how good this is. Oh man, we unlocked our first achievement. 10 gigabytes out of the darkness and we safely got away from the collapsed tunnel. That's pretty epic. So I, can I go over this? No, apparently not. Oh, you go down here, right. This is really well made. Do you hear me? Uh, yes, I do. Oh, shit. What happened here then? Someone got shot up. I forgot to say this as well, yes guys, there is actually like cold, horrible, bitter weather and horrible shit like that you have to survive from. Check your map. There is a camp nearby. Look for it. This is like really much like Battle Royale games that we play these days. Is that it? Undiscovered. I think that's it. No, that's the camp. Right. Let's go. I don't think it just gives you, um, sorry, I'm just getting used to the, the controls. So this pulls up your loadout. What was it again that you had to click to put the, um, there we go. So, jump over that, vault it. Search the camp. There should be a weapon. Hey, up. Look out, camp discovered. Um, oh, is this it? Hold to loot. Oh! Oh! You can handle a gun, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can handle a weapon, thanks. Okay, so we've now got this weapon. This looks sick. I love the whole, like, yeah, I like the way this plays out. I might actually play this more often. Let me know, guys. Hold to reload. Uh, I don't need to because um, I've got full ammo. So where do I go now? I'm not jumping off there, surely. Um, <laughs> of course I wouldn't jump off there. Um, hey up. Oh wait, yeah, there is a, a path down here. Right. Off we go. According to my map, next to the lake is a hut. Go check it for loot. All right, you then. As you say. Sometimes supplies are sent by air. A plane might be heading your way soon. Keep an eye out. All right. Angler's hut discovered. Hold to loot. By the way, are you okay? You should watch your health. Oh shit! Is that my health in the bottom corner? Heels. I know. Ah. There we go. I really like this. I, th I actually think I might do videos on this if I become good at this, obviously. But I'll definitely be playing this in my free time, 100%. Let's plays are always a helpful start to give you a taste of the game, so... Yeah. The airdrop is heading your way. Check the map for the drop 
so go and grab it. Okay, so it's I don't see it. Where is it? Um Oh. Zoom. Thought there's a loud ass plane near me. Oh wait up there it is. I can see it in the sky anyway. <laughs> let's go get it. I think this let's play will just be the tutorial. So you'll get a bit of a taste of what the game's like. The actual game itself will be a lot different, obviously, but um yeah, I actually will probably make videos on this, as, as again, as if you say I should make videos, I will, because I don't want to make content that bores people, obviously, especially if this content, this channel is based on, like, Call of Duty. Won't there be people in the Airdrops contain the most valuable loot. Other Outlanders will also want their precious contents, so watch your back, and always be prepared for a fight. Yeah, this is what I mean. Yo, where am I going? You're right, I wanna fucking escape. Some traumatic music playing. There is shelter down by the ford. Cross the bridge and you will be almost there. Fucking hell, imagine if someone did appear like I'd shit Time myself. Radiation is coming. I've never Hurry. played this before, so obviously I don't know what to expect too much. Oh, here's the camp, I believe. You should recognize exits by the orange markings. Leaving air in seven seconds, what do you mean? Is that the wrong way? Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Oh, of course it isn't. No, it isn't. Why did it say leaving the area? Is that like off bounds? Dude, like. Oh! What's all this about then? I'm so lost. Is it meant to do that? Oh! Waiting. Sounds pretty calm. So I don't think I'm in trouble. Take your outliner with a unique mask and help them from... Alright. Okay. So... Interact with the world map to access the encounters. Right. Place marker. I guess that's where we're going. So better zoom on it there. It's a good thing it tells you at the top as well, like the directions you have to keep pulling up the map. Oh! 20... Game points, home sweet home, found a safer shelter in this desolate world. Well, that's sick. Got it. Right, there's a firing range apparently. Oh, I'm guessing this is one of the firing ranges. Um, how do I get my gun out? Is this safe? Is this just safe place, you know? I mean, I don't know. Oh, we're going to do some shooting range. Right, okay. Let's go, success. Not bad, oh, another game point, 30 game points. Shooter won any rank in firing range challenges. That's sick, right. And now I've got a taste of how that plays out. Let's have another look around here. What is this? Keep track of all your time and performance and how you did. Oh. So this is where the stats appear for your character. Right, that's pretty cool. Um, oh. Switch to team. Oh, so this is how you select like game modes. This is like your safe place, basically. And whenever you want to go into a game, you appear here, you go to this little tab here, and this is how you look for a match. Or some shit. I think that's what it is. So it's kind of like a battle royale in a way, I would have said. It's like you play against other players when you go in. This is like our lobby pretty much, our safe place. Got to say though, pretty unique style. Right, oh, we can change the outfit. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, so when you unlock certain things, you can buy it. Some of these stuff require battle pass. As you can see, I've got not enough. I've only got 90 crowns, and it costs 100, 250 for some of this. So, can't wear anything fancy there. Ooh, bandana, caps. Yeah, all the fancy stuff are basically pay for. I'm not going to pay for a game I barely have ever played. You can get these gloves for 95, so it's not too far off. Not too bad. But we're not going to faff around with that for too long. Let's have a look around again. This is pretty fresh, not going to lie. Um, so what... Oh yeah, this is already at the safe place, pretty much. Oh! So anyway guys, um, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a big fat thumbs up on this video. Comment, subscribe, um, turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a single video that comes out on this channel. But other than that, uh, thank you for watching. If you'd like me to make more of these videos, the follow up playing the game, uh, trying it out, actually playing in the solos and all that shit, um, be sure to let me know. And uh, yeah, other than that, thank you for watching. This has been Zavo. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, guys.